Well, German prosecutors have applied for an arrest warrant for Marcus Joester after the disgraced Steinhoff CEO failed to appear in court in Oldenburg. Joester stood down from the company in 2017 following an accounting scandal that rocked investors here and abroad. Let's go to our correspondent in Berlin, Trent Murray. Trent, good evening to you and welcome. It was supposed to have been a big moment, not only for us in South Africa, but also for the Germans. So a no-show is a big blow. Our authorities are denying holding his passport. What did the court hear? Look, there's been so many twists and turns, hasn't there, in this Steinhoff saga. I suppose in many ways day one of this court trial has played to form. Another major twist in this story. What I can tell you is that today at that much anticipated trial, the star defendant, Marcus uh, Euster himself, was expected to show for that fraud trial, but he did not show up for his court case. Now, his lawyers said it was related to an issue with his passport, that he was not able to leave South South Africa because his passport had been confiscated by authorities. The prosecution, though, in some very intense legal wrangling, shot that argument down and said that they believe the passport is not in the hands of any South African authorities. Instead, it is just in the hands of his own lawyers in SA and that he could come to this trial if he wanted to. Uh, his defence, again, argued against that. But this is the big moment that we uh, were not expecting. Those prosecutors following that legal argument officially applying for an arrest warrant. In other words, they are concerned about uh, Marcus Euster esconding, not coming to trial, and so they are beginning that process of trying to force him to come using judicial means. It is not something we were expecting. It's yet another major twist in this uh, attempt to try and get Marcus Euster into court to face those ac accusations of accounting irregularities at Steinhoff. Just a quick one, and it might be too soon to ask this question, Trent, but in terms of enforcing that arrest warrant, what's expected to happen? Uh, what I can tell you is, in basic terms, uh, what happens next. So from what I understand, that particular court in Oldenburg, in a regular uh, arrest warrant application, would take about two weeks to one month in order to get an answer. If, hypothetically, and we are jumping ahead a little bit here, but let's do it for the purpose of the argument. If, hypothetically, they approve that arrest warrant in that court, it then goes to the next court in order for the German prosecutors to apply with South Africa for an extradition. In other words, to ask South African police to go and arrest Marcus Euster and to bring him here to Germany. We're not there yet. We've got to get through that first court process, but certainly the wheels are in motion. Uh, we should get an answer, as I say, within one month at that, four, at that first court. Uh, if indeed uh, they get the green light, well, then we will go to the next step, which, as I say, will be Germany picking up the telephone to South Africa and asking for an extradition. Because we're so lean uh, on time, uh, Trent, I'm not going to ask you about George Allen Evans, and, and that's uh, Marcus Euster's um, co-accused, but I, I will want to put the question again, why is this such a big deal in Germany? Um, and, you know, what is Steinhoff being accused of there? Yeah, well, look, I mean, it's obviously important to remember Steinhoff was listed on the stock exchanges, not just in South Africa, but also Germany. Uh, and of course, any sort of accounting irregularity, even at the subsidiary company here, affected investors here. So that is what police and investigations is looking at here. Effectively, uh, employee pension funds, investors potentially being defrauded by this accounting irregularity. So that's why they are looking into it. Of course, it's in many ways a much bigger story in SA, but it certainly has caught the attention of the German press. Let me just leave you with what Germany's top-selling newspaper has said today. They said Marcus Euster had to answer at the court on Tuesday, but the defendant did not even show up. Uh, I imagine a sentiment that may be shared by many people who lost money in Steinhoff who will have to wait just a little bit longer to see Mr Euster have his day in court.